ago, Sunday night, I remembered the passage from the Bible in which the disciples were fishing and they had caught nothing. And Jesus came by and said to them, cast your net on the other side. And when they cast their net on the other side, they got an amazing catch of fish. And I want to say to you tonight, if you are a Democratic Labour Party supporter, concerned about the state of your country, cast your net on the other side. If you have been suffering in Barbados and your time of deliverance has come, cast your net on the other side. If you are afraid for the future of your children and you want them to have a brighter future, cast your net on the other side. If you feel that things in Barbados don't have to be as bad as they are and they can be better, cast your net on the other side. And if you feel that you want to see the Battle of Frondella begin and you want the Amalfi and the Barbados Labour Party, cast your net on the other side. A few feet up the road. I like to say that the South Coast has been painted a soft, smelly brown. And the minister responsible for tourism is an engineer. And as businesses close down and as people get sent home, he is silent on the issue. Marshall Cattle will ensure that Richard Seeley is removed from St. Michael's South Central. My name is Marcia Cattle. I'm the candidate for the Barbados Labour Party in the constituency of St. Michael's South Central. Young people in Barbados need more education, training, and job opportunities. That's why I'm running. Put me to work for you in St. Michael's South Central. Here commit my courage, Marcia Cattle for the advantage. Here commit my courage, Marcia Cattle for the advantage. Good night, Bay Street. Good night, BLP family. Good night to Barbados. This is a very important night. But tomorrow is an even more important day. Tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life and we have to make it so we have to make it a day that we will remember forever as when barbados picked itself up again dusted itself off and went forward in victory with me and war motley and the barbados labor party we are here tonight and we feel good we smell success and we smell the future, but I want to say to you that we are not yet there. And so everybody has to get up. Do not go by yourself. Bring somebody, bring as many people as you can to vote for the Barbados Labour Party candidate in your constituency. Do not be complacent. Do not say Marsha good, Jeffrey good, Kirk good, Mia good. We are not good without you and your vote and your voice. You have to make it count. The Democratic Labour Party has had 10 years. And in, the, in that 10 years, all they have proven to you is that they are unable to manage this country. They are unable to nurture your dreams. They are unable to take Barbados to the heights that Barbados should go. And when you go to the polls tomorrow, I want you to make it clear that you are done with, that you are done with, because Brandel Stewart wants you to stay poor, peaceful, and polite. Because that is the only kind of people that he is capable of leading, but he does not know Beijing's. He can know Beijing's because he do not want out and talk to them. How is it that you can be going looking to canvas in your constituency and can get lost looking to find the person that you are looking for? Somebody gonna turn you on and point you in the right direction. That is leadership. That is a prime minister. 
But in Barbados, they have a party has leadership for you and the Mia Amor Motley. A woman of vision, of heart, of integrity, of intellect, of courage. And you know, they will throw their barbs and they will try their best. They will try their best. But she is fully capable of taking them on. And even so, she does not stand alone. There are 29 of us behind her, and we are on the same page. We are ready to go because you know what? When you touch one, when you touch one, and these are 30 strong candidates standing for you, looking to take Barbados forward. You cannot do now what you have not done in 10 years. Up by me and Flystaff Road. That road has been a mess for years. Now in their last ditch attempt to come and make people feel that they are worth the 10% increase take back of their salary that they are getting, well, you have gotten nothing. In their last ditch attempt, they look to go and fix the road. But they can't even manage a simple contract because they ain't pay the people and the people don't choose and go home. You cannot do that to people. And so if you pass like Staff Road now, it is not a road with potholes in it, it is one big pothole that the people have to drive through. And that is the perfect metaphor for what how this democratic Labour Party government has left this country. But I want you to know that I am Marshall Cattle and I am a fighter. We are the Barbados Labour Party and we are fighters. And we are here to fight on behalf of the people of this country because wrong is wrong. And when we see injustice, we have to stand up and stamp it out. But we cannot do it alone. We need you tomorrow morning to get up and go out and vote them out. Because we are ready for Barbados to be back to the place that it once was. It is not going to happen overnight. We have six months of mission critical issues and then we have a period of transformation. We know what we are coming to do in the name of the people of Barbados. We are a party that has given you promises and performance. We have taken our manifesto promises and shown you what we have done in your name. If you look at the 2013 manifesto of the Democratic Labour Party, you will see that not one promise that was made was fulfilled. And if they were not able to do it then, how much less able are they now with all the infighting and the bacchanal that going on in there to do anything in your interest? Tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. Barbados, get up early, go out and vote. Vote for change, vote for your garbage to be collected. Vote, vote to make sure that you have someone who can manage this economy so that 